Serious tau Serious tau Aku tak terima dah Assalamualaikum semua Hi guys Welcome back to another episode of Tech Review And this week We have two toys to play with Terima kasih kepada Sonic Gear Thank you for letting us to play with the Sonic Gear iPhone ANC 2000 And Sonic Gear ANC 3000 If you watch our previous video Basically we do talk about The iPhone Phone 7 do not have the noise cancellation system and the good news is right now the Sony Gear headphone do have the noise cancellation system which is it come in handy which is iPhone ANC 2000 and 3000 so let's see what's in the box Hey guys so right now it's a day 10 for my 30 day gym challenge and so I just did uh, one mile over the treadmill uh, within 20 minutes and I just did like 50 minutes of weightlifting and 50 minutes of yoga and I'm going to end my workout with swimming and then like 10 to 15 minutes so I'm going to share with you a tips how you can keep push forward in the gym you know when you do workout by listening to music so like myself I'm listening to music that I, song that I like then I'm listening to podcast either workout, gym or business so right now I'm using a Sonic Gear ANC 3000 it's really cool, it's really comfortable when I run, it won't, it won't shaking it's really firm and another thing that I like is they have ANC mode that I can switch on and switch off at the back here anytime that I want so ANC mode basically is a active noise cancelling where for easy understanding when you switch on the mode you cannot hear any voice from the outside so like my case when I listening to music I just want to do a normal workout like weightlifting, uh, yoga I will, listen, I will off the uh, ANC uh, active noise cancelling because just it gives someone talking to me in the gym so I can hear but when I really want to go hard really want to push myself I'm going to switch on the ANC mode because I just want to listen firmly to the, the, the podcast or motivational speech to our song. So it's really helped me a lot. So hopefully you guys get some of the tips and see you guys again tomorrow. Bye bye. So right now the first thing that we have is basically the Sony Gear ANC 2000. So if you're wondering what does the ANC stand for, ANC stands for the Active Noise Cancellation. Meaning that when you put it in your headphone, you can't hear any sound of voice or music from the outside. So let's see what they have in the box. Okay, so the ANC 2000 is only come in one color which is the black color. So I would say this like some kind of the travel friendly headphone. So this is the one, the travel pouch. They come with the Sonic Gear uh, logo design printed on it, quite nice. And they come with the manual, of course, the specification. And they also have the AUX cable and also the cable to charge your headphone. So, this is the one. As you can see, it's very compact. You can just bring to anywhere, you can even put in your bag. If you're wearing the hoodie, you can just put in your pocket. Overall, I would say the design is quite nice. It's a black in color. There's only one design. For the price of 199 ringgit, so far, I'm quite satisfied. It's like a bit like uh, rubber over here. And you can see there's some kind of hole. I'm not sure what's the function for it. And you can see here, they have the, if let's say someone calling you when you are in the Bluetooth mode, you can know, you can like stop the music, you know. If you're in the gym, and then of course the play button, uh, pause, forward, etc. The normal one. Okay, and this side over here is the AUX plug point. I would say like cable for you to plug in. And they have a charging port over here. They are using the normal USB charge. And of course this one, they have the a, uh, they have an ANC mode. So you can choose either you want to uh, activate your ANC or not you just like press it's quite cool you know so this one have a 400 mah battery so easy understanding will last for like uh, 15 hours if you are switched on the ANC or if you just use a normal mode will last for like 24 hours so let's try see you Yes, though. Aku tak terima dah. Ya, aku tak terima. Ha? Jalan ni kan? Jalan ni lah. Eh, serius though. Bukan tipe, bukan acar-acar. Okay. Ini, ini aku tak, aku dah kena kat Bluetooth. So, I have, okay. This is the fun fact, okay. So, I haven't connect yet. I haven't connect yet to any music right now on my phone. 
and the ANC mode is off so I can hear the car uh, train from the outside the sound but when I switch on the ANC without pair to the Bluetooth yet it's like you have some kind of imagine this your ear right this is the music right then when you switch on the ANC right they have some kind of like things to block all the noise so this is the only your ear okay so now we're going to try to connect to iPhone 2000 quite easy just spare it you can so as usual the good thing I like about it they will tell you how many percent the battery left so now it's connected so let's see we play with some music So right now I will try off the ANC first. Okay, of course my favorite song Elizabeth Time. Cause she's hot, right? What else can go wrong? Okay, so when I switch off the ANC, the music is acceptable like a normal headphone. So overall, I would say it's very good for the price of hundred and ninety nine ringgit. I'm quite satisfied when you know you haven't plugged in to your you haven't connected to your phone yet, you haven't Bluetooth it. Then when you switch on the ANC, you can immediately uh, feel or hear the different. So it's quite a joke sounding here. So right now, let's see the next one, what we have. So the next one that we have is basically the Sonic Gear iPhone ANC 3000. And this boy over here costs you for like 249 ringgit. But my question is, should you go for the 2000 or should you go for the 3000? Because the price is 50 ringgit gap. And they share the same spec overall everything they share I mean the driver the spec the the sound the nice consoling yada yada the function but I believe the design is different and is it because of the design that costs you extra 50 ringgit so let's see what they have in the box so same okay so the first thing when you open your box this ANC 2000 comes with two colors. The first one, I quite like it. It's like brown and white, gold, so it looks like a bit uh, stylish. Lah, eh. The second one will be like in the grey color. So, same, they have the travel pouch uh, with the Sonic gear printed on it. And they have the manual. Okay, lah, just now the ANC 2000 manual is just like flip two pieces, but this one like got three layers on it. Okay. And then same, the AUS cable and also the charging port and the charging cable. So this is the one. Okay. The first thing I would say is this one is a bit plastic lah. Eh? Compare than the black one, the ANC uh, 2000. Basically, this one is a bit rubber, but this one is a plas plastic ish. For the ANC 3000, they have slightly different. So if let's say you're talking about ANC 2000, everything will be in one side. The button, the AUX uh, point, the ANC uh, mode button, uh, the charging port is all at one area. But for this one, the white side here is the ANC mode and this is the AUX plug point. On the other side, you can see, same, uh, they have uh, forward play increase the volume, the videos, and then calling thing but slightly different at the part of the charging where they put some kind of like some kind of rubber to close it so that I don't know, the sand won't go in or the water won't go in, I don't know, just like closing and it's a bit like gold so let's see overall I would say that the sound, the design is acceptable for the price of 249 ringgit but the question is should you spend extra 50 ringgit to get ANC 3000 or not the last question is should you spend extra 50 ringgit to get the ANC 3000 or should we just keep the money and get the ANC 2000 so I'm going to help you I'm going to divide into these three things which is the first one is the specification the second one is the color and the third one is the design for the specification basically both of them share the same spec so you don't need to worry about that the second one is the color. For the ANC 2000, it's only come in black color. Only one option. 
compare the main NC3000, you have two options. The first one is a white space grey, and the second one is like this white color, brown, and they have some golden like thing like this. So I quite like it, and thumbs up one point for NC3000. The last part is the design. For the black color, which is the ANC 2000, it's quite simple. I like the design, it's very simple. I like there's a bubble on top of this with the Sonic Gear name. So when you hold it, when you grab, it's very nice, firm. Uh, but few things I don't like, for example, on the side white and the left. They have some kind of like hole over here. I don't know what's the purpose of it. And I don't like because they can't fix this thing. So there's really just nice to fix in your ear but you don't really have the flexibility to just turn front or back but extra bonus for them is is very com i would say that very simple you can just grab it and just go for travel good job for nc2000 but for nc2000 as you can see they have extra rubber on top of it compared to anc2000 they do not have so when you put on your head, it's quite nice. But I'm a bit disappointed because they don't have the like rubber grip like ANC 2000 have. But the plastic part doesn't really show like it's cheap thing of plastic. Still acceptable, no issue with it. Still have a Sony gear on top of it. And I quite like because you see, you can move this one. It's a bit flexible. One thing, make ANC 2000 minus compared to the NC2000 is when you put it like this it's not it's not as compact as ANC2000 it's a bit bulky for ANC3000 so overall I would say it's up to you either you want to go for ANC2000 or you want to go for ANC2000 with the extra 50 ringgit for me personally I definitely will go for ANC3000 because of it's going to be a long term headphone for me because of the design, because of the color, and etc. So hopefully you like this video. And if you learn one or two things from this video, please comment, share, and hopefully to see you guys again on the next episode. Bye-bye. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.